Hey guys, it's Vanny. I'm actually on a cruise right now. I'm at the Carnival Panorama Cruise. It's a seven night cruise and we're going to three places in Mexico. Today's actually the 4th of July and I've been on here for about two nights. Today's the third day now. So it's the 4th of July. I'm actually standing outside the balcony. It's really relaxing. You can see like the ocean and everything. I'm gonna show you guys the room later on after it's been cleaned because it's really dirty. So you guys probably don't wanna see that, but check out the ocean view. It's just so nice and so sweet. It's just like endless ocean. It's really nice to just kind of sit out here. And then this is um, our balcony right here. It's, it's quite small. It just fits a small table and two chairs. We actually have some of our clothes hanging out here to dry. But it's nice. If you guys go on a cruise ship, I highly recommend that you guys get a balcony. So this is inside the barbecue restaurant. It's pretty big in here. Looks like they probably have some live performances later on during the day. And this is where they're serving the barbecue. Okay, got my barbecue plate and then we are going to walk back. We're actually going to be sitting outdoors so like there's a nice ocean view and then there's all these tables here. Okay, so here's my plate. I have some mac and cheese, some collard greens, some baked beans. There's also some smoked and dooley sausage. We have some pork spot, chicken, and some beef. Let's try the pork first. This was labeled as a pork spot, which is kind of strange, but it just looks like it's pulled pork. And this is brown sugar bourbon barbecue sauce. Let's dip it in there. Oh, yes. The pulled pork is actually pretty good. It's braised nicely. It's really good with that bourbon barbecue sauce too. Let's try some of these beans now. Mm. Beans are nice too actually. It's nice and smoky. And there's bits of meat in there. Thank mm -hmm. you. Some of the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is just kind of whatever. But it's always a nice day to have if you're eating barbecue. I'm just going to try a piece of this dry beef brisket. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It is on the drier side, but there are like some pockets of fatty meat. And then for the collard greens, this is my absolute favorite. I just always love collard greens. Mm -hmm. Collard greens are pretty good. There's a little bit of a spice to them too, and there's also a chunks of meat in here. That's the barbecue chicken. The barbecue chicken is actually good. Mm. Chicken's pretty soft inside. And I actually really like the seasoning that they put on the skin. Last thing is the smoked and dooley sausage. Sausage is pretty good, it's not bad. So they start you off with like one plate at first, but if you want more, you can always go back and get another plate. They even have an entire brewery in this restaurant. It's crazy because like we're on a ship, but there's just an entire beer making system back here. This kind of shows you the process. I'm not a beer expert, but you start with some, some grains and eventually get some beer inside the mongolian walk restaurant now there was actually a way we had to wait for like 30 minutes 
and this is our selection here so you get to just kind of check off what you want i got an asian spring salad chicken protein lo mein noodle some black bean sauce and then for vegetables onion mushrooms bamboo shoots and broccoli right there you can kind of see the cooks making the noodles so this is the asian spring salad it looks a bit depressing but um okay this one is my boyfriend's order he got chicken with the soy and also lo mein noodles some chinese cabbage and corn and then this one is my order right here i got the black bean sauce with chicken and mushrooms broccoli <laughs> Ooh, noodles are really really hot. I literally just came off the grill. So this is a soy base. Um, it's not bad. Literally just kind of tastes like noodles and soy sauce. Just like your basic Chinese fast food place. This is the black bean sauce one now. Mm -hmm. Mine instantly tastes a lot better. I think black bean sauce is definitely the right call. It's not as salty as the soy sauce. This would be really good if you add some uh, chili oil too. It really needs a kick of chili oil. This is the ice cream machine. They have frozen yogurt and also soft serve. We're gonna be getting soft serve. There's chocolate and vanilla. You can also get it mixed, but I don't like chocolate. Just vanilla, please. <laughs> Yummy. Back in the room now with my ice cream. I've been wanting ice cream for actually a few days. Haven't had the chance to eat it yet. So the buffet is closed right now. Um, we're probably gonna check it out later for dinner or we're just gonna go to the dining restaurant. It looks like the guy uh, cleaned our room though. So let me show you guys around the room. Okay, so this is our room. It's very small. It's just kind of like the desk, the vanity area. Then we have the bed. It's really cute because they made like a cute little, little bear animal with a towel. And then from here, you can open the door out and go into the balcony. And this right here is the bathroom. It's very small. There's a shower. It has just basic necessities. And then this right here is the closet space. That's pretty much it. I woke up from a nap and now I am in line for a burger. Check it out, it looks really awesome. So they grill your burgers fresh for you here. And then on this side, there's a toppings bar so you can kind of put whatever you want in burger. So this is the menu right here. This is a guy's burger joint, so this old guy on that uh, Diners Drive show. I'm going to be getting this straight up and we're going to be adding some uh, onion rings on there. They're making the hamburgers over here. Okay, this is the toppings bar. I already have some toppings on here, but I want to add some grilled onions on mine. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is my burger right here with the onion ring and grilled onions, cheese. Oh, it looks so good. My boyfriend's burger. He actually got a double patty. Cheers. This is actually the best thing I've had all day today. Wow. Burger is actually really good. 
really, really good here. There's lots of melty cheese too. And the crispiness of the onions, along with the grilled onions. in the dining hall now for dinner. We're about to place our order. They started off with um, some cranberry bread. And I also love how they have dippable butter so you can just kind of dip your bread into the butter. I love cranberry bread because it has like a slight hint of sweetness. And the dipping butter here is really good. Okay, the shrimp cocktail is out. Looks like they give you some shrimps with some mayonnaise and cocktail sauce. These look just kind of like the Costco shrimp cocktails that you'll get. Always gotta love shrimp cocktail. Yeah. This is the etouffee of langoustine and um, this green thing here should be the zucchini roasty and I love how they give you like an entire crawfish too. Okay, let's try the zucchini roasty first. It's nice and creamy. It's like cream cheese on top. You taste the chunks of zucchini as well. Try some of this etouffee. Mmm, wow. It's very flavorful. It's a lot of crawfish. Crawfish head. Caesar salad. I always get Caesar salad. It's very simple and refreshing. This right here is a marinated chicken tender and it literally is a marinated chicken tender and there's some rice noodles underneath which is pretty interesting. Hmm. Sweet spicy tangy marinade. I feel like this is kind of inspired by like Thai or Vietnamese food, especially the rice noodles. This really reminds me of a Vietnamese bowl. Okay, this is the chicken parmesan. It looks really good. There's lots of cheese. There's also some potatoes and broccoli. Actually, yeah, good. Chocolate, it's seasoned yeah, very nicely. The marinara sauce is also good, and there's a nice crunch to the chicken. Potato. Raised beef short rib. Looks like this is a cheesy mash with some green beans. Ooh, wow. The beef is actually braised. Look at that. It's braised very nicely. The beef is braised really nicely. It's really soft. I think the beef could use a little bit more flavor, but the braising is really good. Let's try some of this cheesy mash. The country fried chicken plate. And it looks like there's some mashed potatoes. Chicken is uh, fried very nicely. And there's some dipping sauce. So let's dip this chicken in some of that sauce. Right. It could be crispier and a little bit more well flavored, but it's all right. It's decent fried chicken. Seafood pasta. So there's some pen pasta, some mussels, we also have a calamari, and some shrimp. 
Pasta is actually pretty good. Sauce is nice. It's like a marinara sauce, but it's a little bit creamy. Nicely flavored. Nice and saucy, too. The mussel. <laughs> this right here is the Indian dinner, and this is so amazing. Like, it comes with this as well. So, on this side, these are like roti chips. That's how they describe them to be. And then this right here is like a yogurt dipping sauce. Some fried appetizers. Um, there's like breading inside. So it's a little bit similar to a falafel, but it's not a falafel. I don't think it's chickpea inside. It's like some fresh um, onions, cucumbers. This right here is a dipping sauce. Rice. Then some dal. I love dal so much. Mm. Dal is really good. There's like a nice kick of spice to it as well. Oh, that was a sweet potato, I think. This right here is a coconut curry. Uh, it's actually very similar to veggie korma. I think this is supposed to be veggie korma. It tastes like veggie korma. Okay. Well, let's move on to this one. It's assorted vegetables. I imagine this is probably gonna taste uh, maybe pretty similar to olive gobi. The dishes are actually really good. I'm so surprised how flavorful it is. Can we get another Pepsi, please? Okay, let's try these uh, fried goods. Dip it in this yogurt dipping sauce. Nice and crispy on the exterior. I don't think it's like creamy actually. It's pretty good. Finished dinner and we finished watching a concert on the cruise ship. Um, overall, Carnival Panorama Cruise has pretty good food. My top favorites were definitely, I would say, I guess the Daily Buffet, honestly, because the Daily Buffet is definitely changing every single day so you get a variety of different foods each day i also like their salad bars and the hamburger place that we visited is also really good the hamburgers are actually pretty pretty tasty and their daily dining is not bad either um, i really like that indian indian meal that i ordered it's really good uh, all the dishes all the indian dishes are actually really really tasty overall carnival has pretty decent food i hope you guys enjoyed this carnival food vlog and if you did make sure to smash that like button leave a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel until next time see you guys bye